Hey guys, Nick Miller today from Mark Supply Company. Today I have for you a 2005 Bobcat 463 uh, little rubber tired skid steer loader. Uh, these are a nice little machine. They have a great place in the market. Uh, small areas, you got little guys, horse barns, whatnot, are using these. Uh, small applications. Uh, this particular unit's in very nice shape. The white paint is all original on it. Uh, very, very nice. Straight cab, actually the gray was original. We left it. The wheels were original. Uh, we did paint the back door because it was scuffed up. Uh, other than that, really a nice older machine. 1473 hours. Uh, Kubota D1005 three-cylinder diesel engine. Does have the MT interface plate with it. So if you have a 463, an S70, MT50, MT52, 55, uh, MT85. So, under the hood or in the engine compartment, this has a Kubota D1005 three-cylinder diesel engine. Starts and runs excellent. No abnormal noise, smoke, blow-by, anything of that nature. We did put a brand new battery in this. We changed all the filters and oils. Uh, fuel, engine air, or I'm sorry, engine air filter, fuel, hydraulic, has all been changed. Um, nice little machine. It's very clean in the engine bay. There's no oil leaks. So, are going to all be uh, approximately 50 percent all four do max, our foam mills, so we'll get flat. It does have the front counterweight kit on it. Put a new step tread here. It does have a very good seat. That is the original Bobcat seat in that. That was the seat of that time period of these machines. The auxiliary hydraulics on these units work off of this lever here, and that is a constant flow lock or detent. Uh, I'm going to hop in here and show you the inside of it. So, camera. Here you can see all the gauges. Uh, 1473 hours. All the gauges work. Uh, glow plug switch, headlights, park brake. Um, this has a push to operate button just like any other skid steer does. And the Bobcat always has a green push to operate button if I can get my hand to work. Push right there to take it off and activate. Mm -hmm. hand, and, hand steering, uh, foot control for bucket and boom. We'll go ahead, first thing up, run around, shoot as big space to
discontinued making of the S70. You can buy all the parts and stuff you want, new all the deals, you can bobcat. Um, a lot of guys are going to a mini track loader, but there's a lot of applications that that does not work for. There's still a need and always will be a need for this size of machine. So, rear glass is in the cab. The cab itself is very nice and straight. Um, a lot of these that you see were in demolition applications. The cages are all beat in, the booms are all bent up, or up here in the tilt tower sections will be welded and plated. This one's not. It's very nice and original. Uh, very nice, clean piece of equipment. So if you have any questions, 814-658-3066. If you have any questions, let us know. We'll be glad to help you. As always, have a great day, and thanks for checking out Mark's Supply.